In this video, I'll be teaching you step-by-step -step how to create a photography website for your business using WordPress. This video is for complete beginners that are just getting started, or for those of you guys that already have a business and you're looking to create a professional website to better market yourself for future clients. And if you guys are interested in learning about how to create a successful photography business while in college, then you can watch that video in the description below. The process of creating a website is actually very easy with WordPress's drag and drop interface and as you guys will see later on, the platform that I'm using in today's video is super affordable. And so anybody out there can really create a professional looking website without knowing any code and you don't even have to have a lot of money. So with that being said, let's get started with the video. So the first thing that you'll need to make your website is a hosting plan. And in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to use Hostinger, which is our favorite web hosting platform. If you guys wanna follow along and use the link down below, you guys are gonna get taken to this website right here, where as you guys can see, you guys can create a website for as low as $3 per month. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on claim deal right here. And that's gonna bring me to all the different web hosting plans that they give. So they have the premium web hosting, the business web hosting, as well as the cloud startup. For most of you guys, the premium web hosting is gonna be just fine. And with this package, you have access to 100 websites, a free domain and SSL, as well as a bunch of other different features. And don't worry, you guys can actually use our code Charlie Chang to get an even bigger discount. So for this video, I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my cart. And now it's gonna take me to this page where I could choose between one month, 12 months, 24 months, and 48 months. You guys can choose whichever one you want. Now I recommend if you guys are going to be having this photography business for a while, it's very worth it to get the 48 months because you guys are going to be getting three months free. And as you guys can see right here, it's less expensive than all these other plans. So you're going to be saving about $400. And then if I go ahead and scroll down, this is where I can enter in my email address to create your account. And then down here where you put your payment information, just go ahead and click this button right here and then go ahead and type in Charlie. Chang. And then once I go ahead and hit apply, you guys are going to see that it's an even greater discount. So you're going to be getting four years of web hosting for $130. So again, you guys, that is an absolutely insane deal going on right now. So I highly recommend that you guys take advantage of it. But anyways, once you guys are done applying that coupon, just go ahead and enter in the rest of the information and then click on submit secure payment right here. Okay. Once that's done and you guys log in, you guys are going to get taken to this page right here where you can actually claim your free domain. Domain. So I'm going to go ahead and click this button right here. And then it's going to allow me to enter in a domain name as well as the ending. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose .com because that's what a majority of the websites out there use. And then for this website, let's say I want to use Charlie's photography website. So I'm going to go ahead and click check availability right there. And cool. So that is available. So I'll go ahead and click claim domain right here. And once you guys are done registering the domain name, you guys can go back to the homepage. There should be a premium web hosting plan on the setup. So just just go ahead and click setup. Then it's going to take you through the guided setup. This one's super easy. It's just going to ask you a few questions. So I'll go ahead and click start now. I'm going to click on create a new website and it's going to ask me if I want to use WordPress or Hostinger. So for this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use WordPress. But if you guys want to learn how to use the Hostinger builder with AI, then we'll also leave a link down below for you guys to watch that video. So now it's going to ask you to create login details for your WordPress account. And then now it's going to ask you if you want to add any plugins to your website. For this video, I'm going to go ahead and skip because I'll actually talk about some other plugins that you guys will need. And now it's gonna ask you which look that you prefer. So you guys can take a look at some of these pre-built templates. And if you guys want to use any of these templates, just go ahead and click select. And you can also click the preview button, which will let you see what the website looks like beforehand. So for this video, I'm gonna go ahead and click skip because there's actually gonna be a template plugin and it will allow you to install a theme that is specific for your photography business. Now it's gonna ask you if you want to add in your brand name and your description in order to have AI write out some content for you. So if you guys want, you guys can do this, but for now I'll click skip. Then it's gonna ask me what domain I want to use. So I'm just gonna go ahead and choose the domain that I already registered and I'll click select. Then I'm gonna go ahead and click finish setup. And then now it's gonna basically build out the website for me. Okay, and now once that's done, it's gonna allow me to click edit website right here. And so now this is the fun part where we can actually customize your website. Okay, so here I am on the WordPress dashboard now. And the first 
first thing that I'm gonna do is go ahead and install some plugins. So I'm gonna go to plugins right here and it's gonna show me a bunch of plugins that are already installed and some are actually already activated. So you can see these three down here are activated and these are not. So if I want to activate the Akismet anti-spam, for example, I can just go ahead and click activate right here. Now, if you guys want to add a new plugin, then you guys are gonna click on add new right here. And the first plugin that we're gonna install is called Yoast SEO. This is a really good plugin that's gonna improve your WordPress SEO, otherwise known as search engine optimization. And this basically allows you to optimize your website so that it'll rank higher on search. So I'm gonna go ahead and click install now. And then once that's done, I can go back to my plugins. And then as you guys can see, the Yoast SEO is right there. Now, if I want to activate it, I'll just click on activate right here. And then now once that is installed, you guys will see that it's on the left hand column right here. So I'm gonna go back to my plugins and then I'm gonna click add new. And the second plugin that we're gonna install is called starter templates. This plugin is super good for beginners that want to be able to easily create a website because this plugin basically has an entire library of a bunch of ready to use themes. So I'm gonna go ahead and install and activate this plugin. And then once I'm done with that, you guys are also gonna wanna go to your settings right here and then click on permalinks. And once you guys are here, you guys are gonna want to choose the post name instead of the custom structure. And this is super important because this is basically gonna allow you to have your website domain name, a .com, and then slash the post name. So once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down and then click save changes. Okay, cool. So then now the last plugin that you're gonna install is Elementor. So I'm gonna go back to plugins and then add new. And then I'm gonna go ahead and install and activate Elementor website builder. This is basically a drag and drop page builder plugin. And it's great for beginners that don't wanna use the WordPress block editor, because as you guys will see later on, Elementor is really, really easy to use. Okay, so once you guys are all set up with that, you can now choose your template. So this is the fun part. This is where you can choose how your website looks. And if you wanna do that, just go ahead and click on appearance right here, and then go ahead and choose starter templates. Once you guys click on that, you guys are gonna get taken to this page right here, where you can watch the tutorial video that they have, but it's very simple. All you have to do is click on build your website now. And from here, you could choose the preferred page builder. So for me, I'm gonna choose Elementor and I recommend that you guys choose that as well. And then now it's gonna take me to this page right here where I could choose from all the different templates that they have. So because this video is about how to start a photography website, I'm gonna go ahead and click on professionals right here and then go down to photography. From here, I could just look at all of the different templates that they have for photography websites. And if I see one that I like, then I'll just go ahead and click into it. And then now it's going to run me through the process of customizing the website for my business. So right here, it's asking if you want to upload a logo, you guys can do that if you want, or you guys can just skip it and do it later, then it's going to ask you for your colors. So whatever colors and fonts that you guys want to use, you guys can choose that here. And if I go ahead and click on the different colors, you guys can see that it actually changes in real time. Down here, you guys can also change the fonts. And once you guys are cool with that, you guys can click on continue. Now you guys can fill in some of the information they have right here and then click submit and build your website. Now that that's done, it's gonna bring you to this page right here. And as you guys can see, it says your website is ready and it only took 17 seconds to build. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click view your website right here and cool. So it already built out the website just how I like it with my colors as well as the font. And if you guys wanna customize it, you guys can go ahead and click edit with Elementor here. Okay, so now I'm in the Elementor editor and you guys can see right here on the left hand side. This is the drag and drop interface that they have. And then this right here is the navigator. So if I go ahead and click on the section, I can go ahead and go into the column and then see that the intersection has some columns as well. I can go ahead and click right here and then edit straight off of the page, or I can go ahead and edit the text right here. You can also change the colors by going to style right here and then clicking on the text color. Down here, you guys can change the typography, the text stroke, the shadow, and even the blend mode. And let's say I want to get rid of something, then all I have to do is is just right click it and then go ahead and click delete. And let's say that right here, instead of a heading, I want to add a picture, right? So I'm gonna just go ahead and right click this, delete. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and click the image button right here, drag it on top. Now from here, I can go ahead and click choose image. This is where I can select any files that I have on my computer. So I went ahead and uploaded a picture to show for my potential clients. I'm gonna go ahead and click select right here. And as you guys can see,
see that picture is now uploaded. If you guys want to add a new section, you guys would just have to scroll down here and then click on this plus button right here. And this is where you can select your structure. So if I want it to just be the full page or if I want it to be split up or any of the rest of the designs right here. And yeah, this isn't gonna be a total in-depth tutorial because you know that would take way too long for one video. But I recommend that you guys just go into your own website and mess around with some of the things on the page. So you could literally just click on the page anywhere that you want and then start editing the text. Once you guys are done with that and you guys like how your website looks, just go ahead and click update right here. And once it's updated, you guys can go ahead and click this button right here to exit out of your page. And then once I exit out of that, it's gonna bring me to the pages menu where I can see all of the different pages on my website. So I have the home page, which is the one that I was just on. I have the privacy policy page as well as the sample page. Now, if I wanna go ahead and change the menu, I'm gonna go ahead and go to appearances and then go ahead and click menu. From here, it's gonna allow me to add stuff to my menu. So you guys can see that it already pre-generated the menu structure for me. But if I wanted to add a page, so let's say for example, the sample page, I could just go ahead and check that and then click on add to menu. And then as you guys can see, it got added onto the menu structure. And from here, I can go ahead and click and drag it around to make the order different. And once I'm done with that, I'll just go ahead and click save menu. And so now if I go to my website, I can see that the sample page is on the menu. If you guys want to add a new page, then you guys are just gonna go back to your pages menu and then click add new right here. From here, it's gonna bring you to the WordPress block editor. And as you guys can see, it looks pretty confusing. It's not as intuitive as the Elementor editor. So again, I don't recommend that you guys use this. I recommend that you guys edit with Elementor right here. And now that's gonna bring you guys to a blank page where again, you guys can just click and drag onto the website. So let's say I want to go ahead and drag an image. So I'll just go Go ahead and drag that right here and then right here i could choose the image as you guys can see the media library is still there so you guys can reuse some of the pictures that you guys saw on the theme but i recommend find your own images online and then customize your website to look exactly how you want it to look again it's super intuitive you guys are literally just clicking and dragging onto the screen and guys it really doesn't get any simpler than that so yeah that's pretty much everything there is to know about creating a photography website using wordpress again we'll leave links down below for you guys to check out Hostinger and make sure to use code Charlie Chang to get an even bigger discount on your plan. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Here on this channel, we make a lot of how-to guides and tutorials helping out new entrepreneurs start their own business. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.